my name is Laurel Hen, and I am the Spring Arts Walk cover artist. Welcome to my studio. <laughs> I've always been an artist of some sort or another. Growing up, I was always doing crafty arts projects, um, wherever I was, whatever I was doing. So um, I didn't. I didn't have a formal education in arts, but my real education, I believe, came uh, when I was working at our local art store, Olympia Art and & Frame. And that's where I really dove into a lot of mediums and learned how to do a lot of things. I would help customers with their projects. I learned how to, you know, manipulate and play with every medium and every product we had on the shelf. I took it as a personal, you know, um, challenge to know how to do all this stuff so I could help the people. I've been doing professional art for long, as long as I can remember really. Um, when I got into printmaking, I was actually working as a painter and I took an introduction to printmaking class at South Puget Sound from Carol Hannum. And I was introduced to block carving. And when the first block I carved, I was, it came really familiar to me. The carving, the actual physical carving process was really familiar to me and I couldn't figure out why. It took a while for me to actually get there and it all came flooding back to me. Uh, I spent my youth as a tomboy hoodlum down in the Squally Valley, exploring every trail, climbing every tree, and along the way, I always had a pocket knife with me. So I would carve my name and designs into these trees and on the benches where I would sit. Um, nowadays, I keep my carving to more appropriate places, but that's where it came from, and it took me a while to realize that, oh, I have carved before. So carving these blocks came naturally to me, and it kind of stuck. And since then, I've been become a printmaker, um, and I'm exploring these carving of the woods and the linoleums and just having a lot of fun with it. I've always explored other mediums since then, illustrating, collaging, but I always come back to the block printing and, and, and printmaking in general, um, like a long lost friend. What I love about printmaking is that you can put a lot of hours in a one piece, but then you can you can duplicate it many times over. So, for example, if I uh, if I do a painting in acrylic, I can put 20 hours into one painting, and then I have one painting only. But if I put 20 hours into a block, I can print that block over and over and over as many times as I want. I actually. I carve each block with the intention of hand painting uh, the additions that I pull. So for example, I'll carve it, I'll print in black, and then I'll come back to the piece of paper and I'll paint each print differently. Sometimes I'll use watercolors, sometimes I use color pencils, ink, mixed media, and this way I paint each piece individually and create a unique piece of art out of each one. What drives me to make art is, it's an outlet. I guess, um, something that I have control of, something that I can play with and that has no rules or boundaries. Um, I love the process of art. I love the physical creating something from nothing. Um, I, I actually love the process more than I probably love the final product. It's a little bit like science, knowing all the different steps and all the different formulas you have to have to put together to end up with your end result. It's really satisfying to me. My process is uh, complicated yet simple. I start with an idea. Uh, sometimes it starts in a notebook, just some thumbnails, and then from there I um, blow the idea up. I, I create a finished drawing of it first, a very detailed drawing. The better drawing you have to begin with, the more likely you're going to end up to where you're going, just like a map. So I start with this very detailed drawing. I reverse it so that when I then transfer it to my block, it's, it's reversed, and so as I carve, I'm carving the reverse image so that when I print, it'll reverse itself back on the paper and I'll end up with the drawing that I, I originally had. And from there, I start to carve. I carve with U-gouges, V-gouges, sometimes just a straight edge knife, uh, making two cuts. Uh, sometimes it ends up being a more natural look when I use a knife versus a predetermined shape like a U-gouge or a V-gouge. Um, and then I spend uh, the time carving. Um, a 9 by 12 block can take me up to 15 hours to carve. And sometimes I'll leave more block than I need to. Uh, I take that test proof in the very beginning and that, that tells me if I need to take more out. And then I will go back, I'll carve more out once I have an idea of what I need to do and then take another test proof. Sometimes I'll take up to, you know, 5, 10 proofs uh, before I actually am ready to print. I actually print in small editions for a printmaker. Sometimes a dozen. Uh, the most I've printed recently is up to 50, and that's actually pretty small. Printmakers will print hundreds, sometimes even thousands from one block. But since I intend to hand paint each print from my edition, 
I tend to keep it smaller for that reason. So yeah, so example, um, this this block I've used for, I've carved for Spring Arts Walk, I produced 25 prints of them. So in my studio, I um, had ink down. Uh, it took me about an hour and a half to two hours to print all 25 of them. First, I tore, tore all the paper down to size. I had a stack of nice clean paper and inked up each block individually and ran it through my baby press um, and printed each one individually and then put them all out to dry on my drying rack. The Arts Walk cover piece for spring of 2020 is actually quite unique to me and very special. Um, I've been doing these cloud pieces for over a year now. For the Arts Walk, I knew I wanted to do at least one or two more clouds. My mother is a fiber artist. She does quilting, she sews, she does all sorts of things. And she's never hidden that she's been a little disappointed that I've never done the fiber arts with her. So as a uh, ode to her, I've actually started to do some quilt patterns in my blocks because the idea, the simplicity and the boldness of quilts actually I felt lends itself really well to this, this, this uh, stark graphic design of blocks. Um, so that's where the idea of this one came into. It's kind of an ode to my mother and her, and her art form. Well, I've always loved Arts Walk. It's just a fantastic event that Olympia does. And people still, people still come out of the woodwork for it. it and it's a fantastic thing. To be the 2020 Arts Walk Spring Cover Artist is such an honor. When I found out, I was pretty darn excited. In fact, I hung up the phone and I must have yelled because the dog jumped down and got so excited he attacked the cat and they both ran out of the room. 